Cancel Court is an improv comedy show. Some opinions and statements are exaggerated for entertainment purposes. The views expressed on Cancel Court are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of Defiant Digital or their respective affiliates or employees. Basically, we're going to piss a lot of people off, but fuck it. Cancel Court with Judge Tony Towns. In this episode, the trial of Kanye West's black card. A black card being revoked? This motherfucker's Christian card to be revoked. <laughs> and now, let's go to the courtroom. In this quarter, the defense. With a perfect record of zero wins, zero losses. Say hello to Chris Powell, a.k.a. C.P. And in this quarter, the prosecution. His case is as well-rounded as his fro. Say hello to Ron Taylor, a.k.a. Ron T. Come to order. Cancel Court is now in session with Judge Tony Towns. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We're here today to determine if hip-hop star and artist Kanye West Black Car should be canceled and revoked immediately. We have Mr. Ron Taylor, a.k.a. Ron T. representing the prosecution. We have the defense being represented by Mr. Chris Powell, a.k.a. CP. Both sides will present factual evidence that will help the jury determine the outcome of this case. I expect that both parties have done their homework and you will present your evidence accurately. The prosecution and the defense will have opening statements. Then the battle will begin. We will end with closing arguments once completed. The jury of peers will decide the fate of Mr. West with a clear and decisive judgment. Are we clear? Good. Yeah. We'll begin with opening statements with the defense. I just want to, first of all, address the court by saying that I would be remiss if I was to sit here and act like I had a couple of dollars for everybody in the jury. <laughs> that would be preposterous. Mr. CP, are you offering and bribing the jury? No, I said it would be remiss oh, if I had that. That's not what that is. Do you know what the word remiss means? Yes. What does it mean? It means when you miss twice and you remiss. <laughs> Continue, sir. So, snatching somebody's black car. How serious is it to snatch somebody's black car? Let us not forget, this is the same Kanye West that told the truth on a national live telethon for Hurricane Katrina, told the country that George Bush did not care about black people. That kind of honesty, although we would love to keep it in the black community, to keep it uh, biased toward us, that kind of tenacity is unbiased. It is free. He is gonna express opinions that you may not like, but the ones that do hit home for you, I mean, it's like, oh, we have to thank our stars for somebody like Kanye West. There's so many people with black cards that I feel like should be getting revoked before we get down to Kanye. He ain't losing his American car, because America see the benefit in a black man making that kind of money for Adidas and, 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 and Def Jam, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and, and just good beats. <laughs> they want the black community to, 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 to push him out. Where he gonna go? They want us to let Kanye go so he can be Armenian. And so Armenians is waiting for Kanye. <laughs> they waiting for Kanye. They need to be doing them dances at their weddings where they all be in together. And you need, you think a sweet ass beat for that wouldn't hit? <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Ron Taylor, would you like to proceed with your opening statement, please? Absolutely. First of all, Your Honor, I'd like to say I'm a big fan of your cousin Greg Mathis's work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I know that you will see that the things brought up today are very important. First, let's talk about a black card. What is a black card? A black card is a card that's used to deal with, around, and for black people. Kanye's black card, should it be canceled? Should it be revoked? Again, we're talking about a card, much like a license card. You have to renew it, do you not? Just because Kanye did great things with his car early on, does not mean that those credits transfer over. Right now, we're trying to find out if the things that he has done today, now, this decade, not 10, 15 years ago, 
The evidence I'll bring up today will show you that not only should his card be revoked, but it should be revoked indefinitely until he can prove to us, the black community, that he is worthy of our love, attention, money, and care. That's it. <laughs> this is why I love what I do. That was powerful, sir. Thank you for that opening statement. Very welcome. With that opening statement that you both presented, we will now proceed to talk about the evidence and the facts that you have researched and gathered to present to the jury so they can make a sound decision. We'll start with you, Mr. CP. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Your Honor. And I know you were Judge Mathis' cousin. You look just like you could play him in the biopic, I tell you that, <laughs> in his early days in the streets. Um, I just want to say, <sighs> you know, Kanye West is, I think, a lot of us. I think that it's, it becomes difficult to live your life in the limelight when you're so passionate about so many things. I think that it's weird that we want to revoke Kanye's black card. My opponent, or whatever you would like to call it, I don't know what the word is for the other, for the op. Prosecution. The prosecution. He mentioned the black card is a card we need to prove to him and the black community. But let's, 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 let's peel that back for a second. Let's peel that back for a second. Uh, I want to throw a couple names out at you. You let me know what you think. Uh, Chief Keef. You ever heard of Chief Keef? Yeah. yeah, brother at home right now, sitting around here with his black card, renewed and refreshed. You know what he does? Does the court know what he does? No, what is yeah, he talk do? about killing niggas. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. What does this have to do with the topic? I absolutely agree with you, Mr. Taylor. What does this have to do? Well, here's the, the thing. We got a lot of black cars to revoke before we get down to somebody who's a little crazy. Aw, oh, shit. Cancel Court will be right back. Make sure y'all check out Food Fights on Define Digital. Who? We got a lot of black cars to revoke before we get down to somebody who's a little crazy. People talk about, oh, he was, he was, he was, he was around Donald Trump. He was in tax trouble. <laughs> what would you do to get out of tax trouble? Shit. They had his wife in there getting niggas out of jail. They were doing whatever they could. They were doing whatever they could to not go to jail. And I feel them. That ain't the blackest shit I done ever seen somebody do. That was his wife's doing, not him. Are, are the shoes called Keezys or Yeezys? <laughs> do you think that they can sell motherfucking Keezys if he is locked up? No. This nigga is the money. I ain't heard that bitch make a beat yet. <laughs> But I seen a couple niggas beat. No further uh, questions. Do you have a cross statement to that? A cross statement and a few other statements. <laughs> Kim Kardashian, his wife. We love her, I guess. Makes sense. Kanye was for the black man, was he not? Back in the day, we remember. Problem is, we didn't believe him when he told us what he said. When you get on, you gonna get a white girl. He did that. Your Honor, I object. She's not white, she's Armenian. Let the record show that her father was Robert Kardashian who got OJ off. <laughs> Overruled. Continue, sir. The bitch is white adjacent, okay? <laughs> she's off white, like some forces. The point is, she's not black. This is our brother. Kim Kardashian has taken down black man after black man after black man for 10 years straight. We say nothing about it. It is no different now. 
Now, I cannot tell you that the reason we should be revoking Kanye's card is not because of Kim, but God damn it, I can tell you that we need to revoke his card. Ray J, Chris Humphreys, Reggie Bush, the bitch almost took out Nick Cannon, but his soul was too strong. His soul was too strong. He put that damn turban on, God damn it, and got rid of everything. When your blackness is resilient, hello, you can fight off the forces of that white devil bitch. Excuse me, off white. That's on record. Devil bitch. I rest my case. He's made some powerful statements in this courtroom. Do you have any contradictions? I sure do. Shit, I'm about to get right back up. Say some shit. First of all, you know, uh, the prosecution made some excellent, excellent hoop earring uh, points. <laughs> so is that what it is now? You lose your black card when you're racially ambiguous. Is that believe was that what my fluffy fro brother displayed? Then I remind you that the old beloved president of the United States that I still believe is my president, even though he's two presidents ago, Barack Obama was racially ambiguous, kind of. We, we accepted him, because he was black and had them purple Kool-Aid lips. <laughs> but we knew the truth. We knew the truth. This big, rich, cracker-colored motherfucker <laughs> was all we had. See, the problem, I think, with the black community is we like to ignore the message, because we want the messenger to be what the fuck we want it to be. I'm sorry that he didn't marry Kelly Rowland, but I will tell you this, the nigga got time. Nick got time to get somebody black pregnant. He got time. Him and Kim getting a divorce. He can get somebody pregnant tonight. <laughs> My client is a lot of things, man. He's a man who made some mistakes. He fell in love with Kim. He did. I mean, hey, she had a highlight tape out. You know, you saw what it was. You saw what she could do. She was excellent in the paint. <laughs> Let the record show that, you know, I, Black men want to fuck Kim Kardashian. And that, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't nothing against my client. He got to the mountaintop and put his goddamn flag down. No further statement. Don't move. Cancel Court will be right back. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which culture outcooks them all? Get ready for a spicy, delicious, disgusting fun time. I'm here to settle the dispute. Who's better at cookouts? Mexicans, white people, black people, Asians. I'm here to set the record straight. And I know can't nobody fuck with me. I just have one question. What uppity Negro made these? This is Food Fights. These are the Ben Affleck of nachos. Have to re-eat that? I mean, I gotta literally rinse these fuckers off. I don't know if I should eat this cheese or snort it. Now I know this is a black-owned network, but this is ridiculous. These are the top turn-offs doing sex. Trim your goddamn dick hair. You know how hard it is for us women trying to suck dick and trying to move hair out the way and all that shit? No! We over here parting through dick hair like it's the Red Sea. Exclusively on Defiant Digital. <laughs> You know, I've done my own research on this case because it's a very sensitive case. It's a reflection of the black community. One question that I do have for the prosecution in regards to Ms. Kardashian West, she's not officially divorced yet, is the fact that one could say that a lot of brothers was trying to use her for her notoriety. Maybe her is just that powerful. Mm -hmm. What can you say to that? I mean, when you think about it, I mean, out of curiosity, we, we want to blame her for being off-white. But she's fighting for brothers. She's had kids by a brother who's mentally ill, allegedly. Mm -hmm. She's done a lot for the black community. She's put a lot of brothers on. And so I know we're in this court. It's, very, it's a very tough situation right now. And there's words and slander being thrown back and forth across the alley about Miss Kardashian West. But I would have to say 
She's put a lot of brothers on. She's done a lot for them. And a lot of them are thirsty as hell. They may not say it, but they're thirsty as hell. What do you say to that, Mr. Uh, Ron T? Well, before he even say that, yeah, I wanted to go on record and say, you smart as hell, and I agree. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. C.P. You're welcome, man. Your Honor, um, I trust that you will not be moved by Mr. Powell's pandering remarks. We all know that you're a very smart man. That's why you're in the position you're in now. You need no one to tell you that. We all understand that. But I will answer your question. What do I feel <laughs> about Miss Kim? Mm -hmm. Putting brothers on. Well, that's a very interesting thing. Her notoriety that she can share. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Her father. Her father. Where did her father's notoriety come from? Working with a black man, Johnny Cochran. What was his famous case? Getting off a black man, O.J. Simpson. But guess what? She's not on trial here. We know what Miss Kim Kardashian does. She's great. Got a big fat ass. Point is, Mr. West, he's on trial. He's taken advantage of the black community. Oh, his wife might have given back, but he's taken advantage in the highest way, the worst ways. He has taken advantage and profited from one of the most prominent black men in the world. He profited from Jesus Christ. Let's not forget how he got on. Jesus walks. He walked. And he had that song playing in the clubs making young ladies all over the country shake that monkey to Jesus walks? A black card being revoked? This motherfucker's Christian card should be revoked. Your Honor, I, I object, I object. The prosecution has no proof that people were popping their pussies when uh, Jesus Walks came on. That was literally a, that was a, that was a song. You go to the bar, you get you a drink. You say, so where you from? When Jesus Walks came on. You was never popping your pussy when Jesus Walks came Excuse on. Excuse me, I, Mr. I don't, Paul. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I can guarantee you that, if necessary, if need be. I'd love to call a witness to the stand. Oh, 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 you have a witness that you would like to call to the stand? Please do. Absolutely. Beautiful bailiff, would you mind taking a stand? Uh, you can swear yourself in, you're the bailiff. I would like to cross-examine her too, and he done. <laughs> Take your time. Now, those are some very strong, strong accusations, Mr. Ron Taylor. Well, just a few questions, Miss. Beautiful, bodacious bailiff. Have you ever heard the song, Jesus Walks? Yes. Have you ever twerked? I can't say that, that I recall. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. In a world where you may have twerked, do you think songs that Kanye might have been on or helped produce may have been playing in a world where you were twerking? Yes. So can you say that you have not twerked to Jesus Walks? There's a possibility that I have. No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, so, Ms. Bailey, if you're telling us that you twerk to Jesus Walks, you sure? What part of Jesus Walks make you want to twerk? I will say I have possibly twerked to it because I have, might have been under the influence. Gotcha. So I might have not known mm. exactly what part I twerked Now, to. let me ask you another question. Under the influence, and we in the club, mm -hmm. and the prosecution is there, <laughs> And I'm there, <laughs> and you like, man, out of the prosecution of the defense, I got somebody, I got to go home with somebody. Who would it be? Oh, Jackson, <laughs> what does it have to do I with Kanye Porter? <laughs> All right, well, I just want to see if, if, if she had saw anything in anybody, that was in here. Uh, the no further question. The defendant is shooting this shot. No further question. No further question. No further question. I said no further question. I said no further question. Peter, no further question. That was a mighty shot you shot, sir. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Free throw. The ball is tipped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Any further questions? No, I thank you for taking the send -back. Thank you. You may step down, Bailiff. Cancel Court will be right back.
will get you blocked on social media. Stop showing us pictures of your kids. If you started off ass shot, ass shot, ass shot, your son graduation, we don't give a damn if that little nigga graduate. Hey. Hey. What's the deal, man? Ha Ha Davis, man. Make sure y'all check out Tops on Defiant Digital. We in the building. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> These are some very compelling arguments, but I, I feel, I get a sense for the people's sake that we need something stronger. Mm -hmm. We need something more precise and powerful to make this case thought-provoking, something that will actually help the jury make a decision. If this man card should be revoked, I mean, we have to take this seriously. Mm -hmm. It's Mr. Kanye West. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and if I recall, if I recall, Kanye West says something that was powerful in 2005. It was entered into the court docket. It says that George Bush does not like black people. Some say in the black community, Kanye West does not like or care about black people anymore. That's a powerful, powerful, powerful statement. Is that true? Could it be that Kanye has turned on the black community? Could it be that the White man, and we always try to blame him for everything, has come and showed his feathers and Kanye said, hey, I want to be like Walt Disney, a white man. He never said he wanted to be like Martin Luther King. He said he wanted to be like Roy Disney and Walt Disney and Steve Jobs, all white men, which is fine. But could it be said that he's given his black card away for riches and for glory? Very interesting things you said. Because you, 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 you was looking at me. I'm throwing it at any of you. Okay, cool. Because I, I was trying to be dramatic and give you a pause. And I was going to get up, but he jumped up with it. So let him go ahead. <laughs> Just a few closing statements. Has he given his card away? Yes. I'd say so. I don't know if you all remember the year 2020. Very tumultuous time. In that time? In the times before? I object. He looked like Dwayne Wayne a little bit from uh, <laughs> a different world. <laughs> Overruled. Continue, sir. Very tumultuous time. Kanye decided to align himself with the president, Donald Trump. Now, he's not on trial here, but I do believe that records show that Donald Trump likes to grab people by the pussy. <laughs> Donald Trump said, black people, what do you have to lose? 2020 came. Boy, did we find out what we had to lose. This is who he has associated himself with, MAGA. Make America great again. To the jury, to the judge, the bodacious bailiff. When was America great? What time is he trying to get back to? Your Honor, to say I object. 95 was lit. Uh, <laughs> Freak Nick was in his prime. Um, whatever. Please, continue. He took me back, he took me back. As I was saying, I can't tell you a time outside of maybe 95. And I mean, it was, ooh, 95. Lit it was. But that is a year. We're talking about an entire time frame. We know the foundation of America, genocide, slavery, segregation, redlining. I can't think of a time to go back to. This is who Kanye associated himself with. This is the hat he chose to put on. By association alone, how can you Stand in line with a person who's trying to get back to a time where it was only worse for black people and say that he's for black people. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Kanye wants to take us back to slavery times. Oh, but wait a minute. Slavery was a choice, right? Right? We chose that. That's what he believes. 400 years and nobody says, you know what? Fuck this, I'm out of here. 400 years? Millions of black people dead. Not all of them. Some of them got away. Some of them were helped and went to freedom. Oh, but wait a minute. That's not true, because Harriet Tubman, she didn't actually free the slaves. She sent them to work for another plantation. Ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck does Kanye care about black people? We're struggling. Kanye's not. If you care for black people, you help us during the struggle, not sell us $3,000 shitty 
fucking sweaters and holy sweatpants and shoes that look like you stepped in shit while you live on your ranch in fucking Wyoming with your off-white wife. <laughs> and I get it. Kanye's trying to do great, but right now we're talking about revoking his black card. And what's very important when thinking about revoking his black card is the difference between intent and impact, mm. okay? I'm sure Kanye intended to do wonderful things. I'm sure he intended to make everybody understand that you can do it too, and Steve Jobs, and, and, and Leonardo da Vinci. I'm sure that was his intent, but the impact was that people were hurt that he took a picture with fucking Donald Trump. The impact is that people feel let down. The impact is that people feel that this man who was so strong and black has now sold out. I don't mind his intent, but he's on trial for his impact. He has hurt us. His validity of his black card right now, it should not exist because of what he's doing. Perhaps next year or the year after, as Mr. Powell said, maybe he'll fuck Kelly Rowland, who knows? <laughs> maybe his car can be reinstated after further review, but for right now, it needs to be revoked, canceled. I rest my case. Damn, shit got real. Cancel Court will be right back. with a motherfucking white ass tongue trying to eat a bitch coochie and shit, trying to, like, no. First of all, brush your fucking tongue, scrape it. Scrape that motherfucker. I remember this one guy used to always be like, yeah, rub my face. He used to stick his tongue out and look like it had baby powder on it. Get the fuck out my face. Scrape your damn tongue. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that whole ass case is wretched. Let me say this. A uh, couple of things. In my closing arguments, I just want to say, I understand what, my, what the prosecution is trying to say. You know, the funny thing about black people, being a black person, is what we expect out of our people who we put into this situation of power. And what we expect is everything. We expect Jay-Z to be Barack. We expect... LeBron to be Barack. We expect them to say the correct thing, even though we understand that they are not politicians. My client is not a scholar. My client is an artist. And what he was trying to do was put words together that I don't think he had. Let's talk about slavery being a choice. When you say slavery is a choice, I think what he's trying to say is that they put a mentality on slavery that we still suffer from today. I.e. why you can move a slave from a plantation, have them come up to Detroit, it worked to making cars. I'm sorry, Mr. Taylor, what do they call the place where they make the, the Chrysler cars? The plant. The fucking plant. Do black people run the plant? No, they fucking make cars. People who work in the plant make about $80,000 a year if they're lucky. Making trucks, 400 trucks a day. The trucks cost $65,000. So I made you $65,000 400 fucking times today, and I'm getting paid a truck and a half for the year. Sound like slavery to me? See, what people hate about Kanye is that Kanye is unapologetically black. That's the problem. We bite our tongues at work because we like to apologize for being black a lot. We say shit that we don't want to say so we can get our check. Kanye made clothes that's ripped up. But guess what? Do you ever think about the fact that Kanye is showing you that you can make some clothes that's not ripped up and sell them bitches too? A black man selling clothes to the world? A black man who getting his clothes sold? for $3,000 because his name is not fucking black history? Everybody can't be Martin Luther King. As a matter of fact, you don't want that job unless you're willing to be that nigga. 
Everybody don't want to be Martin Luther King. And we shouldn't want everybody to be Martin Luther King. We got to stop that. That's not our responsibility to make the next Martin Luther King. The next Martin Luther King has it in his soul to be that. And we wouldn't even have to tell him. Not a nigga who made cold ass beats. He is what he is. His black card should not get revoked. Let it be on record that Kanye felt like, since he knew Donald Trump, that he could go and sit down with him, similar to what Ice Cube tried to do. Did he do any harm in the White House by sitting down with Donald Trump? Is Jim Brown, who was sitting right there with him, on trial too? It's like, dog, like, we get into a frenzy. And that's what they want us to be into a frenzy. You know what else get into a frenzy? Fish. They get them into a big ass frenzy, and then big ass whales, companies, corporations come and eat their ass up. And that was the whole fucking plan. But I rest my case though, because hey, you know, what do I know? You know, I'm just trying to defend a man's blackness. Thank you. That concludes this case. At this time, I am ordering the jury, the people, to make a sound decision based off the evidence you received whether Mr. Kanye West's black card should be revoked and canceled expeditiously. It's up to you to make that decision. It's not up to me. It's not up to the beautiful bailiff here. Thank you for being here again. It's not up to the prosecution. It's not up to the defense. It's up to you. The power is in your hands. If I win, I'm trying to take the bailiff and everybody off a of shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> we have actually prefer steak, but it's, it's OK. Now, if you believe that Mr. Kanye West's black car should be canceled, please raise your right hand and say aye. And if you believe it should not be canceled, say nay with your right hand. Amen. The court has decided, the jury has decided, that Mr. Kanye West's black car should not be canceled. That adjourns your case. Court is over. Hey, man, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Hey, man. Very good up there. Very good out there, man. For sure. You need a job. Come on down to the I park. think you niggas had your minds made up already. <laughs> hey, Tony, yeah, I need about 13 steaks. And, uh, yeah, just throw some shrimp in there. The big shrimp. The medium shrimp. All right. The verdict came down, I guess. It really was a bribery. Uh, I thought it was awful. You know, I think that, you know, to tear another black man down, that's why I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm a defense attorney. Because my job is to build them up and let them show that everybody make mistakes and they don't want us to make no mistakes. They want us to be perfect while everybody else is so fucked up all around the world. The defense did make some very good points. Uh, I think he played dirty uh, between bribing for shrimp and steaks and trying to cost a bailiff who was unnecessarily thick. They sent the prosecution in with a big old fro, thinking he was going to throw everybody off. Like, oh, he must be Afrocentric because he got the fro. The fro is just a fro. It it's, it's, it's got no shape to it. It's a dirty game, you know. I have a difficult job. It's not easy trying to tear down a black man, but that is my job. So, you know, he didn't come in fooling anybody with that. We came in with the ironclad facts. This, it's going to take a lot for somebody in this country to get their black card taken away. And we ain't starting the day with Kanye. I have to remember to bring shrimp, <laughs> thick women, you know. But uh, we'll get him next time. But this one, he got away. Good for him. Happy that the jury, you know, came to the deliberation that they did. And, uh, you know, the prosecution, they got to come a little harder than that. You know what I'm saying? Or get a taper on the side. <laughs>